Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Arts and Crafts Icons stamp set from Inkblot. And I've had this stamp set for a while and I've been looking for the perfect opportunity to use it. And today is that day. I'm going to be decorating an envelope and doing quite a bit of coloring. Today's video is part of a blog hop celebrating the Daily Marker 30 Day Coloring Challenge. My friend Kathy Rakusen puts this together multiple times a year. And the coloring challenge is all about challenging yourself to color something anything every day for an entire month. And you don't have to finish your project, you don't have to make an elaborate piece or anything like that. It's just about coloring. Coloring has a lot of health benefits, including reducing stress and fatigue, and it's great for just relaxing and doing a little bit of something with your hands. I think it's a great kind of practice to do. And as crafters, we get to color quite a bit, which is really fun. So today I'm going to be doing some heat embossing and then I'll be coloring with colored pencils. So I've arranged some of those art supplies stamps on the bottom of this envelope. And then I've prepped my black envelope with an anti-static powder tool and then stamped those images in Versamark ink. Versamark's a very sticky ink. It's my preferred ink for heat embossing because it stays sticky for a long time. So I have plenty of time to stamp all of these images, add some more in between, and then continue stamping and adding embossing powder. So I have plenty of time to do that. I don't have to rush too much. So I did want to mention that this black envelope, I bought it years ago at a local paper store, which I don't think is in business anymore. So I'm not entirely sure where to send you guys if you want some black envelopes like this. I'll search online and see if I can find some. I do have one particular online store that I like to buy envelopes from. So I'll see if they have some black envelopes similar to this and send you guys over there if you're looking for some long like business sized envelopes in different colors because they're really fun to have on hand. And I like to decorate these because it's just a little bit different. People don't expect to have a handmade card inside a long envelope like this. I think it's really fun. So I added some white embossing powder. This is some alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. I shook off the excess and then heated that with my heat tool until it was smooth and melted. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I was using the heat tool, I let it really warm up away from the envelope first and then brought it over to the envelope and used the heat tool. I did that because I didn't want to have that time when the heat tool is coming up to its full uh, temperature. I didn't want that to be while it was pointed at the envelope where it would apply too much heat for a long period of time and possibly cause warping. So today I'm going to be coloring colored pencils and the colored pencils that I really really love are the Polychromos pencils from Faber-Castell. I think they're nice and creamy and they just have a really good texture when you color with them. They look great over the top of dark surfaces, so that's another reason why I'm using them on this black envelope today. I'm gonna to go through and color in all of these little individual pieces and I'm making sure to add a little bit of white as a highlight for these. And at first I thought I'd have the highlight be straight on the pencils, but then I decided that the highlight looked a little bit better off to the side. So it's gonna be off to the right just a little bit, but um, I only had a few here where the highlight looks a little bit wrong, but it'll be okay in the end. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna turn on some music so you can enjoy the coloring, and I'll be right back to finish up the envelope.
So the envelope is pretty much complete. I just have to add some postage stamps. I will not be adding an address onto this envelope today. Um, I didn't have a recipient in mind when I was creating this, but I do have some longer cards and I thought I would send this to one of my friends or family members. So just to not put their address out on blast because I don't have permission from them, I'm not going to be putting an address on today's card or today's envelope, excuse me. But you could do a lot of really fun, different um, kind of techniques for writing the address if you want. So right there, I used a paper towel that I sprayed with this uh, water bottle, and then I pressed that stamp down onto it. This is one of those older vintage stamps that has the adhesive on the back, and you have to like lick the stamp and then press it onto your envelope. Well. Some of these really old vintage stamps, I just don't even want to lick them. <laughs> like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, ugh. so I, I just press them onto a wet paper towel and then press it onto the envelope. I added my return address on the back of the envelope on the flap with a jelly roll pen. This is the number 10 bold jelly roll pen. And then that is the finished envelope. So once again, today's video is part of a blog hop for the Daily Marker 30 Day Coloring Challenge. You can take the challenge yourself and follow over at Instagram using the hashtag the Daily Marker 30 Day. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will catch you very soon in another video. Thanks for watching.